Hi everybody, here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're going to compare these two waters. The first one is in a bottle. The next one is in this weird pouch thing. And these are both from the store Giant Eagle. And other than them being from Giant Eagle, that's pretty much the only thing that they have in common. And so the first one is called Nature's Basket Vapor Distilled Water. This is 99 cents. This is in a bottle very similar to Smart Water. You know, it's got the thick plastic, the same shape, same kind of lid as Smart Water. And it says it has electrolytes added. Those electrolytes include calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, and potassium bicarbonate. And that's pretty much it. It's 99 cents, and that's it. Now here's the interesting one. This is called H2. It has the lowercase to the power of 2 hydrogen water. And this comes in an aluminum pouch. And so this is only the second pouch of water I've reviewed, but it's the first pouch I've reviewed that's in an aluminum pouch. Um, they say that they're using aluminum to trap hydrogen inside of here. And that's the whole deal with this water. They say that they infuse it with extra hydrogen. And the aluminum pouch traps the hydrogen inside. They say the hydrogen will boost your endurance and it will reduce the lactic acid in your muscles. So, you know, the lactis, lactic acid is what makes your muscles feel tired and so this will reduce fatigue. That's what they claim, at least. And I'm, I'm feeling pretty thirsty, so let's just open these up and start doing a comparison. I'm going to let you know which one I personally think tastes better. And I'm feeling pretty thirsty, so good time for this water. This has the full size lid. This is a pretty good one. Um, normally I'm not a huge fan of the distilled waters, but this one tastes pretty good. Okay, here's the hydrogen water. I've never opened this. I hope it's not like a weird mechanism to open it. I hope I'm not going to screw this up and embarrass myself. No, it's pretty standard. But... Okay, that's pretty good. I'm liking this. The first pouch of water I reviewed, I bought on eBay, and it was made for like emergencies and I think it was several years old and it tasted like really strongly of plastic and if I if I ever make a list of the top worst waters that first pouch of water that I reviewed um, last year would be on the list the first pouch was awful this is really good compared to that first pouch And did you notice whenever I opened the lid, I spilled a little bit? Another interesting thing about this water is, when I first saw this in the store at Giant Eagle, the corner had like a tear in it, and it was actually like squirting water on the ground. Just, you know, the one that I first saw on the Giant Eagle shelf. And so, maybe a pouch is not the best design, <laughs> just based on that one first pouch I saw. I mean... If it needs to be an aluminum to trap the water, or I mean the hydrogen inside, maybe they should use an aluminum can instead. But then again, I've done aluminum cans in the past, and that kind of leaves an aftertaste in the water. It says um, it's aluminum inside, but it, I don't taste any aluminum at all. So it must, I'm, I'm assuming it's like, there's another thing, you know, between the water and the aluminum. Let's get back to this one. And this one tastes a lot like that water, Le Bleu, which I reviewed a couple months ago, which was also distilled. And it tasted pretty good, very similar to this one. But then again, 
is this really distilled water since it says it adds in electrolytes? Like it distilling it kind of removes the calcium and other electrolytes and then they say they add it back in. So I'm not really sure if it's distilled or not. Excuse me. Let's get back to this one. This one also says that it boosts your cellular metabolism. And it says the ingredients include purified water, hydrogen gas, and that's it. An interesting thing is, it says to drink one per day. I've never seen that on a bottle. Like, normally they would want you to drink as much as possible. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting that they say one per day. Another interesting thing about this one is it has a sell-by date. It also has a born-by or born-on date. And it says to consume within 30 minutes of opening. I guess you have to consume it within 30 minutes or the hydrogen will escape. Yeah, it's kind of neat. It's like a Capri Sun. It has a built-in straw. <laughs> and I kind of feel like I, I should go work out after this video and see if um, I don't have as much lactic acid. So I'm also going to open this up and just see what's on the inside of the pouch. Why not? Oh, yeah. It just looks like aluminum. Maybe it, there's some kind of clear material, you know, separating it. It looks just like aluminum to me. It's kind of interesting that it's like so flexible. It must be super, super thin aluminum. So, anyway, that's it. I'm going to say that the H2 is the winner. Just tastes a little bit better. Thumbs up to this one still. This was a good water. You know, the only reason I'm not picking this one is because H2 was really good. But they both get a thumbs up. So, anyway, thanks for watching, everyone.